Following the information released in the stream on Friday, Famitsu has now released nine direct feed screenshots for the upcoming game, Pokémon Tournament. Uh, these screenshots show various parts of the game, including battles and special moves using the fighters that were introduced last week. Um, as such, if you wish to check these out, you can go over to Cerebi and check out their pre-release screenshot page, um, and you should see all the images there. So as for what we're going to be doing today, we're going to be finishing off um, the Seafloor Cavern and making our way back to... Um, What's it called? To Soda or Sotopolis, and uh, getting ready for the complete shitstorm that is about to befall the world. That technically can last forever, and nothing bad will actually ever happen. But I mean, whatever. So I mean, there's that. Uh, for anyone who actually is interested, um, has been announced for or the, a fourth um, Pokemon-related team is to hit the Japanese 3DS theme top um, next month. Um, this theme is based on Pikachu and ties in with the upcoming Nintendo 3DS faceplate coming to Japan and Europe. Um, this theme is filled with Pikachu um, and is coming out on February 14th for, again, I don't know what Japanese currency is, so I'm just going to go 200 yen. Um, it has a panoramic, or, or panoramic wallpaper of lots of Pikachu on both screens while it plays the Pokemon music from Pokemon Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire. So it's kind of cool. Um, I have the uh, Kyogre Groudon one, I think, on one of my DS's. I can't really remember it too. That or what, that like Japanese like art style thing. I don't know. So I mean, there's that. It's cool, I guess. Um, so we have even more stuff to even talk about. Like a lot of stuff. Um, there was uh, a f couple more leaks. I had mentioned this a little while ago. Um, there was one all the way back from the 25th, and then the, the final leak is um, from yesterday. So, I don't think I covered these yet on here, so we're just going to kind of cover this, because um, I don't think I talked about how some how stupid some of these things are. Um, so, I'm just going to kind of go a little bit into the ones that are good, and then um, and the ones that aren't, I'm just going to be like, okay, whatever. Um, so, speaking of the first whatever one, Patch Rat Line gets the hidden ability of Unburden. Um, Lillipup gets own tempo. This is actually not bad. I think that the Lillipup line has access to Thrash, which is really good with Stoutland. Um, oh, actually, I guess Stoutland. Okay, never mind. Lillipup would be good with Thrash, because Herdier and Stoutland apparently have Hustle, which isn't terrible, I guess. I mean, the accuracy thing is a problem, but, um, I mean, getting that increase to your attacks, I guess, is great. Um, Purloin line suffers by losing Prankster in favor of su or Super Luck. Um, the entire Muna line um, gets Magic Bounce. That's actually pretty interesting. A bulky Calm Minder that has access to Magic Bounce is pretty good. Um, so Rug and Roll line gets Pressure, which is, I guess, interesting. I don't remember what it was before, and nor do I care. Nothing's a piece of shit. I'm sorry, my my language is great today, but I don't really care. Um, the entire timber line gets mold breaker, which it's not half bad. I I, I don't mind the trade off from Iron Fist on Conkeldur. Um So I mean I don't know. It, it just seems okay to me. Tim pole line gets torrent. Um, I kind of agree with this. I think Swift Swim is a better ability for it, but whatever. Um, Sandal line gets dry skin. I actually approve of this. It's not the world's greatest ability change, but it's definitely a decent one. I mean, it's already weak to water. If you're going to be staying in on a water type, well, GG get wrecked. So, I don't know. Or not a water type, a fire type, I guess. Whatever, you know what I mean. It, it's something... Like, I honestly don't like staying in on fire types with physicals, because I don't, there's a really weird chance that you're just going to get burned, and I, I don't know. It's just me. Dry skin seems like it would just kind of hurt a little bit. I don't know. It's an okay ability, but I like how there's like ice and it's like snow and all this other shit falling off my roof at the moment. <clears throat> Yay blizzards, right? Um, moving on, Doramaka line gets Flame Body. Darmanitan Zen is now a usable separate Pokemon from the regular Darmanitan and has its own uh, natural ability of Sheer Force. So there's that. I mean, that's kind of interesting. I mean, in a way, it's not unexpected in Black and White 2 and Black and White 1, I think. Um, or in, in the desert, if you use one of the Rage Candy bars, you can make it appear as a, uh, you know, Zen mode, I believe. And um, so, I mean, there's that. Um, moving on, your mask line gets weak armor. Whatever, I guess. Uh, here's a funny one. 
Um, it's so stupid that we'll actually kind of take a few seconds to mention it. The Arkin line, you know, how it had a crappy ability to begin with, it's getting worse, it's getting, um, slow start. So, yay, right? I mean, it's just absolutely great. <clears throat> Trebuchet line, this is actually an improvement, if you ask me, Poison Touch. Um... I don't know, I'm just saying that I think that's actually an improvement. By the way, hello Archie and Maxi, and of course, another very familiar face sitting in the middle of a pool of lava. Um, so, next up, and this is the, probably one of the most ridiculous ones from the 25th uh, leak, aka, you know, January 25th. Um, the entire Zora line, this, 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 is, this is where it gets great. Um, it's, a, it's an ability gets changed to Protean. So... Let me just kind of remind everyone about a Pokemon that was recently sent to Ubers in the form of Greninja. I mean, it's not as fast, don't get me wrong, but it's certainly a Pokemon that has a lot of variety when it comes to moves. And having a stab on all of those, I don't know how I feel about it. By the way, you're going to get to see something very interesting in this fight. And it'll be at the very end of the fight, of course. And Well, okay, I guess there's that too. You see it at the very beginning. Spoiler alert. Whatever. Um, moving on. Carablast gets Guts, while Escavalier gets Regenerator. If I'm not mistaken, Escavalier does not have access to U-Turn, which sucks, but, I mean, either way, it's, I guess, not bad. Ferroseed gets Light Metal, while Ferrothorn, which Ferrothorn actually does get a, a decent change, which is uh, Rain Dish. Um, I'm sure that anyone that played Generation 5 competitive, like OU, um, remembers rain teams carrying either Ferrothorn or Sizzler or something like that. Even like things like Genesect when it was still OU um, to kind of reduce that fire weakness and having rain dish is kind of really good. So I mean if you're doing it for maybe a doubles or something, um, I mean yeah. And as we already are well aware, there's going to be even more Pokemon with Drought. I mean think about doubles right now. Um, Zapdos is seeing a lot of play with a bold nature kind of like, excuse me. Kind of like a bulky kind of like you know Pokemon to have, and they uh, if it does if all these do come to pass and it gets drizzle and like doubles, um, Ferrothorn's actually still played pretty mu pretty nicely in VGC as well. I mean it's all play at Worlds last year, so it, it kind of makes VGC a lot more interesting this way. I don't know. Cub Chew gets the hidden ability pickup, while Bear Tick gets thick fat. That's actually pretty good, um, considering at least for you know the tier that it's going to be in, of course. Um, Shellman has 30 now, while Excelgore has Tinted Lens. Tinted Lens, I think, is actually very good. Um, I can't remember exactly what Tinted Lens does, but if I, if I remember correctly, when I last looked into it, it was actually pretty good. Um, Stunfisk gets Storm Drain. That's not bad. Um, Reshiram gets Flame Body, while Zerkram gets Static. If you ask me, both of those are absolute garbage. I don't know about anyone else. I mean, whatever. I mean, Static on Zekrom's actually okay. Same with, I guess, Reshiram. Like, if a physical dragon's coming in against you, you're either going to paralyze it or burn it, I guess. So, I mean, in a way, yeah, that's kind of nice. But, outside of that, I don't really know. Kyurem, regular Kyurem, gets Ice Body, while Kyurem Black and White both get Clear Body. So, I mean, there's that... Um, Chespin and Quilladin both get Gluttony, while Chestnut gets Overcoat. Terrible change, in all honesty. Um, Fennekin and Bryzen get Anticipation, which is not really all that great, I guess. Delphox gets Magic Guard. Uh, Furky and Frogadier get Immunity, while Greninja gets Toxic Boost. Um, Litleo gets Blaze, which is kind of funny to me. Uh, male Pyroar gets Intimidate, while the female Pyroar gets Sheer Force. Um... The Flabebe line gets Chlorophyll, which I actually am surprised I didn't kind of already have. Um, Hone Edge and Dewblade get Hyper Cutter, while Aegislash, this one's great too. Shadow Tag. Um, not that anyone would ever use that anyways. I'd rather just have Stance Change. Um, Tyrant line gets Moxie. Amora line gets Ice Body, um, which I think sucks. I don't remember what... I think Amora had um, Snow Warning as its registered hidden ability... In X and Y, I don't know if that got changed in the coding for Mega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire. Probably not, but it's probably so, still somewhere in the coding because obviously this is stuff that people are getting from coding. 
I'm going to speed this up a little bit because I don't think we have very much time left. Um, so, Halucha has adaptability. That's actually pretty good, despite the fact that it's garbage. Um, Phantom line gets Cursed Body. Pumpkaboo line gets Flash Fire, which is actually pretty nice. Xerneas gets Natural Cure, which I think is absolutely absurd. Um, despite the fact that it trades power for the fact that if it gets a status ailment, it can get the hell out of there and get rid of it. Um, Eveltal gets worse in the form of Insomnia. I don't know if it even had a hidden ability in the first place, but I mean, I'd rather have Dark Aura over Insomnia, let's be real. This one's actually really good. Zygarde gets Compound Dies, so increasing your accuracy of your moves, pretty good. Um, any like lower accuracy dragon moves get a slight accuracy boost, which is pretty good. And I don't know why I was like used, but whatever. Diancie gets not only justified, but it also gets a special move in the form of Wish. So that's cool. And then Mega Diancie gets Levitate, which actually I think is pretty good. Um, so moving on to the 27th leak, there's a lot of stuff here actually. Um, might not even be able to get through. Yeah, I'm definitely not getting through all this today. <laughs> um... I'll definitely, uh, actually, next episode's gonna be pretty, pretty fucking busy. But, um, yeah. And sorry for yesterday, by the way, I guess I forgot to mention this. There was the whole Blizzard thing, I kept losing my cable and internet, so I kind of just said fuck it and just didn't upload yesterday because of that. Because I wasn't gonna fight with YouTube to upload a hundred times just to try and get it up and probably have it up way late at that, so. Anyways, as you can obviously tell, we, the whole world's gone to hell. Almost literally. Um, yay Groudon, right? <clears throat> Look at that. Great. Anyways, I'm going to try and cover some of these. Uh, I'm not going to remember where I left off, so I'll end up covering a huge chunk of these while we sit here and just mess around with Groudon in the next episode, because you know we're going to be doing that. So starting off with the leaks from yesterday, um, Beedrill gets Anger Point and a new move in the form of Needle Arm, um, and Mega Beedrill gets Technician. This is actually pretty good. Um, the Vulpix line gets competitive, goodbye drought, you know, nine tails. That's actually pretty bad. Ponyta gets Limber, while Rapidash gets Lightning Rod. Why are these random Pokemon getting Lightning Rod? I don't understand. Uh, Magnemite and Magneton get Levitate, that's actually pretty good. And then, uh, Terravolt on Magnazone. Farfetch gets Huge Power, Onyx gets Shed Skin, Steelix gets Heavy Metal, and it gets the special move Diamond Storm. That's pretty good. <clears throat> Mega Steelix gets Sandstream, that's actually also really good, um, for what it's worth anyways. Um, Kangaskhan gets Rockhead and a special move in the form of Mach Punch. Um, it's Mega gets Iron Fist, which is interesting actually. Uh, Pinsir gets Rivalry with the move Home Claws, um, and the Mega Pinsir is Hustle. Aerodactyl gets Bulletproof, plus the move Dragon Tail, and its Mega has the ability of Solid Rock. Dratini and Dragonair has Swift Swim, while Dragonite has Airlock. It's interesting, isn't it? Um, Mewtwo gets Intimidate and um, the special move Psycho Boost. Mega Mewtwo X gets Aura Break, while Mewtwo Y gets Forewarn. It's terrible. Um, and as you can see, we're going to fly up to, um, you know, what's it called? To Sotopolis, and yeah. I'm going to kind of cover this next one really, really quick. Um, Reap and Flaffy get Motor Drive, Ampharos gets Lightning Rod plus the move Dragon Dance, and then Mega Ampharos, wait for it, Speed Boost. I, I wanted to get that one in before the end of the episode. We're going to heal and then we're going to basically call it a day. Because um, next episode is going to be absolutely fantastic. I'll probably get trolled to all hell. I need to buy stuff off screen. A lot of cool stuff. In the next episode, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be taking care of this natural disaster in the form of grout on this, you know, sun and all that other happy crap. Hopefully, we won't get trolled too hard. And then, hopefully, we can get started on exploring through Cetopolis and all that other happy crap. So, be sure to stay tuned for that. If you haven't already, don't forget to rate, your comments, or rate comment, and subscribe. And until next time, this is the Pokegamer, signing out.